Hey guys, I'm back in the last part in Lung Zhenjie's level 11 weapon, the Twilight Flute. And now, we're going to go like Wang Zhang's level 11 weapon, which had a total of 7 votes. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we're going for Wang Zhang's, we have to go to his Legend Stage. And I'll show off the 6 mile like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration and the special rules, so move on. We know the objectives, we know the unit info, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Oracle Sword at level 10. I can't equip any items, however, I am allowed bodyguards, so I will have all 8 bodyguards with me. And I'll set the weapon to Pike. And that pretty much covers it, so let's do it. Alright, so in order to obtain the S rank here and unlock Wang Zhang's level 11 weapon, you have to do the following. Number one, make sure you knock Guan Yu off his red hair before he starts taunting you. That's pretty much the hard part. However, if you do mess up, you're really not losing that much progress. However, if you manage to do that, then defeat every enemy general. Minus Guan Yu and get 100 KOs. And you're not timed with that, so you're good there. But the hard part is knocking Guan Yu off his horse. Because he likes going to the left non stop and won't stop going to the left, and then uh, you'll be lucky if he actually comes back to the right. Got him. Alright, cool. That's the hard part. I was but an inch from death. Now all I have to do is get the four enemy generals and get the 100 KOs. If I was you, I would strongly recommend you interim saving. Or, you know what, I don't even interim save. Well, here I probably would, but I'm not going to for this video. But... If you manage to knock Guan Yu off his horse, I would recommend you in terms saving right then and there. Because, uh... Just keep on resetting and doing the whole thing over again at that point. It will be a real pain in the ass. But, you know me, I'm going to try to get the weapon without in terms saves. Unless I really need to. Like the, uh, <laughs> elephant harness in Zhurong's Sudden Stage. But, uh, anyways. So... The four enemy generals we have to defeat are Guan Ping, Zhao Yun, Zhang Fei, and Zhou Song. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about Wei Yan, but uh, we still have to worry about the other four. Also, if you decide, or if you wind up accidentally allowing your bodyguards to defeat one of the uh, four enemy generals, you can compensate that by getting 200 KOs instead of 100, and you'll still get the weapon. So, just keep that in mind. Alright, one ping is down. There's one down, and uh, three more to go. I'm gonna wait for Zhao Yun to come to me. I'm gonna use that battle axe to my advantage. If he even comes close, that is. There we go. Time to run. And uh, we'll grab that battle axe. Is he following me? Yes, he is. Perfect. Th here comes the hard part. Defeating the playables without any items equipped. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh 
Oh, so much for that plan. Alright, yeah, now I have to bail. That was not supposed to happen. Yeah, my ideas sound kind of great, but uh, the execution just turned out very badly. And now I'm having both Zhou Song and Zhao Yun chasing me over the fucking map. Alright. Alright, let's bail again. I'll set them the defense for now because I don't want them to yoink my KO. Or have them do that. How the fuck did Zhou Song get back on his horse so quick? That was an epic fail. And I'm not running away because I don't want to get hit. I'm trying to get a good view and make sure my bodyguards don't yoink the KOs that I need. Anyways, Zhou Song is down. Now I'll go for Zhao Yun. He's almost down too. So I don't have to worry about that. I gotta be careful with that though. Got him. Alright. That was close. All that's left is Zhang Fei. Yeah, I really need to tread cautiously. So yeah, all that's left is Zhang Fei. But I still need to get these KOs. So I'm going to go around by uh, a few allied gates and grab some health. I think I should be good for now. Uh, I think I lost only two bodyguards. Let's see here. One. Okay. That's fine. But we still have to go for Zhang Fei. No matter what, I'm pretty much good with the enemy general count because I need at least three, ideally four, that way I don't have to worry about getting more KOs. And now it's just me taking my time getting these KOs. And there are a lot of troops over here. Yeah, it's going to feel really bad that you're going to have a bunch of privates blocking up. Just, uh, I'm just going to roll with it. Here comes Zhang Fei. Right on cue with a battle axe. Perfect. Let's not get dazed by a random troop and have Zhang Fei catapult me. And loink me up like a hot potato to death. Wow, I wasted two battle axes. That was not supposed to happen. But, you know what, let's just uh, go with it. Usually when things go according to plan, they backfire. And when things don't go according to plan, they somehow go the right way. But right now, Zhang Fei is about to obliterate the living fuck out of me. So it's time to run again. And more so this time because I don't want to die. If he comes out by himself, then that's a different story. That was a mistake. That was a huge fucking mistake. I regretted that so quickly, it's not even fucking funny. Yeah, this might take a bit.
I'm not chancing it. Fuck that. I've actually tried to go for this weapon before recording, and uh, I did see the uh, weapon text, but I failed to complete the stage. So I'm not taking any chances. The level 10 weapon here was hard enough as it was, so I gotta make sure I am very, very careful here. And uh, this is probably gonna be one of the few hardest level 11 weapons I'm gonna be going for. Simply for the fact that I really don't, if I were to play, you know, just for fun, Wang Zhang and Zhao Yuan, those movesets, well, first off, obviously, you already know those are generic movesets, but these are two characters I hardly use. So, and I'm not the best with them, so that doesn't help. So, with that being said, let's try it again, and let's not do anything reckless, because uh, that was reckless. And for the fact that, once again, I have no items equipped, that makes it ten times harder. So, yeah. Anyways, let's set them to attack for now. That is if they actually do something. That is if my fucking bodyguards do something. That was weird. Got him. Alright. All the enemy generals are down. Now it's just getting the 100 KOs. Yeah, my tactics might have been a bit more on the defensive side, but you know what? Okay, I'm done. Now all I have left is Guan Yu, which he will come to me. So I gotta make sure I rack up these KOs quickly. Well, I mean, the battle objective is if, if I die, right? Yeah. So I don't have to worry about it that much. And as I said before, I am not timed with the KOs. So I'm good there. My only real concern, if anything, is Guan Yu. So I do need to be careful with him. So far, so good. I really don't want to defeat this elite guard, but you know what? I'm going to have to now. Especially for the fact that it was a healing ointment. I did not want... Uh, you know what? It is what it is. Alright, that private has to stop blocking. I mean, you know it's bad when a fucking private's blocking. Yeah, let's try to be careful here and not approach Guan Yu just yet. I mean, I should be good with KOs. Worst case scenario, I'll go and secure the gates, but I'll only do that if I have to. That wasn't Guan Yu. Who the fuck was that? Really? Alright, well, I got 20 more KOs and then we'll go for Guan Yu. Carefully. I 
see Guan Yu right over there, so I gotta be careful. So far, so good. And there it is. Now all I have to do is complete the stage. Easier said than done. Easier said than done. Alright, I might just go and secure a few gates. That way the troops won't come out of those gates. That way it will be a little bit easier to defeat Guan Yu. Like I said, I feel like it even on expert mode, one on one, I could take on pretty much almost anybody. The only problem is the troops could sometimes get in the way. And that will eventually hurt me in the long run. Or in this case, the quick run. Because uh, Guan Yu could easily kill me with one combo. So out of all the gates, I feel like this gate will be the one gate that I would need to secure. And make sure it doesn't get re-secured. So I'm going to defeat the troops over here. And then we'll go for Guan Yu. How much time have I... You know what? I'm going to go and secure the other gates too. Because I really cannot chance it. Like, this is one of those stages where I'm not taking any chances. There we go. Yeah, sometimes those bodyguards don't help. Sometimes. I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes. You know what? Screw it. I'll go and uh, just move on to the next gate. We're almost done anyways. Really? Alright, first things first. I already know I have it, but I'm just going to grab it anyways. And second, let me grab more health. That way I'm ready for Guan Yu. There shouldn't be that many troops left under Guan Yu's forces, so... I should... be good. And I'm saying should in a big way, because uh, I never guarantee anything. You know that. So, anyways. All we have left is Guan Yu. And I feel like the two gates down there 
they're not going to do much. So we'll just uh, go for Guan Yu. And I got to be very, very, very careful. Because, as you know, for me, as of late, when it comes to going for the level 11 weapons, I have a hard time when I go for Guan Yu and when I face them. So, I'm not going to take any chances. Well, looks like Wei Yan wants to fight uh, everyone else over there, so uh, that's not going to help me at all. So I got to be careful now. Nice. He is almost down. See what I mean? He just got some health back. Great. But you saw I you, you understand what I'm talking about? One of those hits could fucking wreck well, one of those combos would definitely wreck me. So I gotta be careful. Got him. I have broken the oath. Forgive me. And that's a win. Alright. So there's another one down. And that might have been the safest uh, weapon run that I have done. So, anyways, here, well, we have gotten, again, the fire arrows. You already know how to get it here, so I'll just uh, move on. Our KO count is 151. We defeated everybody in the stage. Our clear time is 20 minutes and 15 seconds more so, because I didn't want to bum rush it this time, because I am playing as a character I'm not really that familiar with. Because I'm usually playing as someone that has Guan Yu... Zhang Liao. Wang Zhang is not one of my main choices to play as. So, I had to play it safe. And uh, it worked out very well this time around. And our point total is 6,794 points. Not that that matters because the points are at max. And there it is. The level 11 weapon. The Venerable Master. I think I said that right. The Venerable Master. Uh, just like any other level 11 weapon, the attack power is a plus 60. But uh, what the weapon contain? well, the four items that are equipped to this weapon are the Peacock Urn, which is additional health at level 8, Wong's Bow, obviously, the, um, additional bow attack, level 20, Naman Armor, bow defense, level 20, and uh, Herbal Remedy, which gives you additional charge. Uh, additional damage towards your charge attacks and that's at level 16 and if in order to get the weapon here all you have to do is make sure you knock Guan Yu off his horse before he starts taunting you and then defeat every enemy general minus Guan Yu and get 100 KOs there's no time limit for the weapon so you're good with that however if for some reason you allow your allies or your bodyguards to take out one of the enemy generals, you can compensate by well, compensate by uh, getting an additional 100 KOs, and you'll still get the weapon. I wouldn't recommend you going above 200 or three, or below three enemy generals. 
So once you mess up and allow one to be taken from you, don't allow another one. That's just me though. Anyways, so after that, obviously, just complete the stage. So, uh, yeah, that's that. The bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits, but uh, unless they level up, which they did, so that helps. Alright. Degrade. Oh, more so how many points. Okay, we got 90. That's enough, obviously, because all you need is 90, and you're set. So, anyways, we will save. And, uh, you know what? I'll say right now, the next level 11 weapon we're going to get will be one of the five edit officers. However, and I'll probably be a little specific when I go for the certain three. But, when we go for any of the edit characters' weapons, the same stages or the same uh, legend scenarios that we went to to go for the level 10, it will be the same exact thing for the level 11. But, I would highly suggest to you for the sword, the spear, and the pike, if you know exactly... You know what? I'll shut it off real quick. So, when you try to create a character for... Like I said, it doesn't matter with the great, well, I don't know if I said it, but it doesn't matter with the great sword or the rapier. But it will matter with the regular sword, spear, and pike. So I'm just going to pick one just for the hell. Uh, I'll throw this one in there because I'm not going to save after that. So I'll just leave it blank. Uh... I'll just do that for now. Uh, yeah. I'll just do that too. So, if you are familiar with the edit movesets, they're pretty much clones of specific characters. So, if you are good with that particular quote unquote moveset, I would strongly recommend you using that particular move set for that set character. So for me, I'm going to be leaning towards changing a few of the edit move sets. Uh, as you already know, I was particularly using either Sun Xuan or Dong Zhuo for the sword, for the spear it was Xiao Yun, and for the pike Zhang Liao. I'm pretty much going to be keeping the pike moveset because I'm good as, with uh, Zhang Liao. For the spear, well, I think you already know what I'm going to be doing here because uh, one of them is Ma Chao's. Yeah, so I'm just going to give you the rundown with that. And then I'm going to probably lean towards Sun Jian's moveset, which is that one right there. So if I'm mistaken... Uh, I will actually put something in the description with the edits. Uh, like, for example, um, Sword 1, I know for a fact, is Zhou Yu. I'll put each uh, each motion there. Long day. Uh, each motion in the description and put the, the uh, that... I'll put each motion in the description as well as the motions, characters, moveset, if that makes any fucking sense. So, uh, anyways, with that being said, I'll end it here. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part, where we will go and get the next level 11 weapon, and the next one will be the Great Sword, and, uh, that one's not gonna be, uh, as you know, it's gonna be Zhou Tai's Legend Stage, so, it's gonna be a little tougher for the fact that, uh, I'm not using the match out trick, but uh, you know me, I'll roll with the punches. So, that being said, peace out.